I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test problems advanced functions grade 4 unit 4 polynomial equations here are some real life situations well for me the real life situation is that I am always running out of time and space so we have just half a page to solve and a very limited time since you are ready for your test so here is a quick solution I will only give you hints and provide you guidance how to solve such a real life question. The question here is a rectangular box for packaging chocolates is to be made from a rectangular piece of cardboard measuring 30 centimeter by 24 centimeter. The cardboard is folded according to the figure. If the box is to have a capacity of 648 centimeter cube determine the value of x so here is a cardboard 30 centimeter by 24 centimeter it is folded along these dotted lines so it's kind of a covered box as shown here on the right side now when you fold it, it's bent from here so the height is x and then you bring this side over to the right side so the width actually becomes half of 30 minus 2x correct x from here and here two places has been taken out so the width is 30 minus 2x divided by 2 so we get 15 minus x the length of the box will be 24 minus 2x well you are fortunate to get a figure in the test you may not get a figure but you may have to draw one which is similar to this now we are given volume of the box as 648 centimeter cube we need to find the dimensions so let's begin by writing a function so the function is volume in terms of x which is the side length of a fold so as we can see from the figure the volume is length times width times height so length is 24 minus 2x so we'll write that 24 minus 2x width is actually 30 minus 2x divided by 2 so let me write 30 minus 2x divided by 2 and the height is x for us so that becomes the volume now in the test you should simplify this formula 24 minus 2x you can take 2 common so it becomes 12 minus x and here you can divide both by 2 so you get 15 minus x times x so that becomes the volume formula now as soon as you get the formula here you should remember it's a real life situation the dimensions should always be positive right and now uh, that says that the possible values of x could be what now if I make x 12 this is 0 and if it is more than 12 then this quantity the first quantity which is the width uh, becomes lesser correct I mean in this case it seems to be the length right the way after on okay so 12 minus x so we have a restriction it's a good idea to look into these aspects so my idea of taking up this example is only to tell you how to approach and solve and not to provide you with complete solution similar to this problems are actually there in your book now here so we can write domain of the function that means from here we know that x value has to be greater than or equal to 0 let us say and then less than or equals to 12 so that's one thing which we know it's kind of very important observation now in polynomial equations we are looking for integral roots so values of x which are less than 12 we need to try now we are given capacity of 648 and now we will figure out how to find x so let's replace volume with 648 so we get 648 equals to all this so it's a good idea to expand and figure out what the polynomial is so we get 2 times x we can actually divide by 2 right so what I will do is because I have limited space I'll replace volume with 648 here and we want to find the value of x 
to solve let's divide first step let's divide by 2 so we have simpler numbers to deal with and now let's expand 12 times 15 always take help of calculator so we have 12 times 15 180 so we get 180 12 times minus x let me write minus 12x and then minus 15x and then minus x square correct all this should be multiplied by x don't forget that part right so we have this polynomial equation we can simplify this bring all the terms to the right side 648 divided by 2 is 324 so we'll bring 324 to the right side so we get 0 here so let me write 0 here equals to multiplying by x I'm sorry this is plus x squared minus and minus it is good to write in proper order that means highest degree first so we'll begin and put them in order also x squared times x is x cubed and then this is 15 combine the like terms so we have 27 minus x so we'll multiply by x we'll get minus 27 x squared and then we have plus 180 x we're bringing this term to the right side so that minus 3 2 4 so that's the polynomial you get it's a cubic polynomial possibly you can get three different integral roots right remember all those three if you get three different answers will give you three different dimensions also so in this type of a question you should try to figure out all the three okay now so at this stage you have to try the values and 324 is a good number to work with one two three all numbers can be tried right three plus two is six six plus four is ten so three is not a part but definitely one two and four could be tried right now <clears throat> so 324 is a good number to work with three it's a even number one could be tried two could be tried um, three could be tried three plus two is five five plus four is nine four could be tried so like this you can try all these values now since the factor should be kind of x minus 1 x minus 2 things like that right so you should be trying only the positive numbers correct not the negative numbers for x that is one thing so begin by trying 1 2 3 so once you plug in 1 you will probably get a negative answer and then yeah because this is minus this is 324 is a bigger number so try 2 and 3 uh, for 3 we get actually zero right so because i don't have space so i'm not you really uh, giving you all that but uh, when you plug this three value i should not write volume now this is a polynomial correct so we should say this polynomial for three will give me three cube minus 27 times three square plus 180 times three minus 324 and if you use calculator this value is zero that means 3 is a factor correct so once you get 3 as a factor you can do long division or synthetic division to find the answer correct so let's do synthetic division here and find the answer so for this particular question we have coefficients as 1 then we have minus 27 plus 180 minus 324 and 3 is our factor so we are going to divide this by 3 so when you sub in 3 you get 0 so let's do the needful so bring down 1 multiply by 3 oh sorry bring down 1 multiply by 3 you get 3 here and then add them up minus 24 multiply by 3 3 times 4 is 12 1 72 with a negative sign now we add them up so when you add them up you get 10 take away 2 is 8 and 0 and 1 and when you multiply this by 108 3 times 108 is 3 times 8 is 24 and 3 times 1 is 3 so when you add them up you do get 0 
correct so that gives you that x minus 3 is a factor and now you can write this as x minus 3 times so that's a square parabola right so we have x square minus 24x plus 108 so that becomes your polynomial let me write this as polynomial is equal to this now we need to factor this polynomial right so what I will do here is that I'll write down mm, the factoring of this right here so let me just move on to this place so we already have x minus 3 try to find product of two numbers which is 108 and sum as minus 24 minus 24 as the sum and product as 108 so you can try many numbers what you'll get is 6 and 18 right 6 and 18 so you can factor this as x minus 6 and x minus 18 correct so the polynomial can be factored like this and that results in three different solutions that is x could be equal to 3 it could be equal to 6 and it could be equal to 18 do you see that these are the three solutions since in the very beginning you know x should not be greater than 12 so what we will do at this stage is we'll say well this is not acceptable since placing 18 will make this negative right both it makes it negative so that is not possible so we have two possible solutions right so we have two possible solutions so let's write down both the solutions it's a good idea to always test your solution also right so so I'll write down these two solutions right at the end of the page move it a bit for you okay now if x is equal to let us say 3 if x is equals to 3 then what are my dimensions now my dimensions will be 15 minus x right so let me write first let me write height this time so it is 3 units are centimeters so we'll write 3 centimeters and when you plug in 3 here so 12 minus 3 is 9 right so get 9 centimeters and 15 minus 3 is 12 so get 12 centimeter this is what you get if you put x equals to 6 in your formula x is 6 so you get 6 centimeter right these are actually your length width and height now when you plug in 6 you get this when you plug in 6 here 12 minus 6 is 6 centimeters okay and 15 minus 6 will give you 9 now it's uh, 15 minus 6 will give you 9 okay so again 9 centimeter correct now it's a good practice to check your answer so we'll multiply these numbers which is 3 times 9 times 12 what do we get 324 that's what we wanted and then 6 times 6 times 9 what do we get 324 so that's the perfect volume which we want so these both of them are valid answers for us do you see that so that is how you should be solving polynomial equations so it has all in it for example trying out different numbers so that you find the roots of the polynomial synthetic division or long division to find the answer and to verify which are the valid answers so valid answers if you don't look into boundary conditions earlier then when you place 18 you will find that you get negative value so that is not valid right so that is how you should do it and my suggestion in this case is when you get one of these solutions at times some students will just stop here and provide with one possible solution uh, it may work for them since the question really is determine the value of x not possible values of x if the question says uh, let me write here possible all possible for example let me qualify with all all possible values of x or integral possible values of x it is a good practice to go all out factor it completely and do as i have suggested i hope this will really help you to answer the questions in the correct way and maximize in getting marks also Thank you and all the best.